Welcome back to Ghost Statesman TV. JT Webb joined now by the ruggedly handsome assistant coach Greg Long. <laughs> coach Long, your ball club gets out to a 13-2 lead against North Alabama today and held them scoreless in the last 18, 852 from the field. Pretty good win here over UNA on the road. Yeah, coach is really, really happy with the win tonight. Our girls are tired. You know, we, we were worried about this game. Uh, coach called me early this morning. She goes, are we ready? And I said, yeah, we're ready, coach. You know, and uh, started off a little bit slow. And, you know, such a quick turnaround from the Huntsville game the other night and such a big win for us. And, you know, but we're really, really pleased with, with their efforts of being tired and, and the quick turnaround. Coach had that question answered really quickly after such an emotional game against Alabama Huntsville. How were we able to come back from that? And we really did a lot of energy really quick in this ball game. We did. You know, I tell you what, I, I think you have to attribute that to a combination of our returning leadership, especially our two great seniors, Denisha Henderson and Veronica Walker, and, you know, Brooke Rhodes and Aubrey Ray. And you mix that with, uh, with all the new kids coming in and wanting to be a part of this. And, you know, they just – you really have people leading and people following, and you know that's just a great combination of things to have. That I attribute it to that right there. And coach, the balance of our basketball team. The other night we got 28, a career high from Denisha Henderson against Alabama Huntsville. Tonight we really don't need her to score because our All-American Veronica has 29. I mean, everybody who needed to play a role did in this basketball game. Right. This was a complete team effort. What? What do we have? 40 something rebounds. Is there 20 something? We we dominated the boards tonight. We needed to do that. And I got to make a comment about Denisha Henderson. They backed off of her the other night, and, and she did what a senior is supposed to do. You know, you're not going to do that to me, you know. And, and she, she really stepped up and did a great job. Everyone is starting to really contribute to this team. And Coach is really, really excited, and she should be. I know you got to be excited as well. You're just as much a part of it as everyone else and really doing a good job with these ladies. But the last question I have for you, going forward, it seems like we're playing our best basketball as we're, we're coming down the stretch in the GSC play. It looks like we get better and better every game. And I know that Coach Rushing, along with yourself, we don't want to peak until the right time, and it seems like we're getting better each game. I, I don't know about, you know, playing our best basketball, but, I you know, I, we are getting better every game, and we need to continue to get better. You know, each game, you know, coaches starting to see more and more people uh, come along and contribute more in, in the ways that they need to contribute. But, yeah, hopefully – sorry about that. I almost got hit by a ball. Uh, hopefully we can continue to get better, and, and I think that we will. Coach, thank you for your time. We'll talk with you soon. All right. Thanks, JT. That was Lady Statesman Assistant Coach Greg Long. We'll send it over to Clayton Kaufman, who's standing by with Jason Connor. Thanks, JT. We're joined by men's basketball coach Jason Connor. Coach, lost today against North Alabama. I, 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 I'm sure you're at a loss for words. What, you know, what, Never at a loss for uh, words. Maybe not so, but it, the guys are fighting out there. It's just we're going against these experienced teams, like you've said, and you know, we're running into you know, know. these senior-laden squads. Right. And, I, and I agree there. I, I agree there, and I appreciate you opening with that. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't – those guys don't see that, and, and they're uh, – you know, it's hard to keep this – it's hard to keep it together, but right now, I, you know, we just finished visiting with them, and, Lord, I – you know, there's – everybody wants to make a play to get – to swing momentum our way. Right. And you, you can't. You have to stay within the the things that we do and and play as hard as you can within that. And then all of a sudden now we aren't the greatest shooting team in the world. Nobody has to tell us that. But at the same time, that makes those shots easier. Also, if we can get it outside from inside out, it makes those shots easier. I mean, you know, and then North Isle shot to – they shot the ball well tonight. They always do here. They do. I want to ask you about that. Your team wanting to make plays when they're in striking distance, yeah, and, I know. and it just it, I know. it hasn't happened yet. What I know. what do you well, think the answer that to that might be? Maybe experience. Maybe you know. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, we got to find little pieces of success. You know, we're trying to right now. Okay, let's win five minutes. <laughs> let's win this five minute clock right here, and. Uh, uh, and then that's where it's, that's where it becomes difficult. And, you know, uh, we're just a little bit outmanned, a um, uh, lot out experienced. Um, and our guys just have to start 
all of a sudden they don't, you know, well, so-and-so missed a shot or so-and-so turned it over. And, you know, so they got to they gotta really trust each other and continue to work at that. Thanks for your time. A tough loss tonight, but we'll see you next week in Memphis. Clayton, thank you. That was head coach Jason Conner, a 68-52 loss to the hands of North Alabama. Folks, thanks for watching Go States and TV tonight on WHCQ. We'll see you next week at 6.30. You're watching Go States and TV. Woo!